Welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. I'm your host, Time Pants, and today we are finally going to do away with that party composition that I'm sure is starting to drive everybody crazy. We are going to put this baby to bed with Marisat, Brinon, Karadas, and Roger. Heading back into... Uh, let's do this one. Holy Relics, I know we've done it recently, but it has the potential to be much much faster so let's go ahead and do that right now and let's go ahead and spend the extra money for a little bit of stress relief and we are going to over prepare a fair bit just because we do hope to take some of these party members out with us for another uh, for another go around because after this we are going after the formless flesh so yes am I over preparing Absolutely, I certainly am. But, once we're done with this, we're going to get a lot more party variety. But, for right now, we just need to finish off this... Well, we need to finish off three characters at level 6, two roster goals here. So there's quite a bit at stake. Let's go ahead and camp. And so let's see here. Let's, yeah, go ahead and feast. Get some stress relief. That's nice. And instruction. Weapons practice. Restring crossbow. And sharpen spear. I think is fine. Her accuracy is not going to be amazing, but it should be good enough. Alright, let's get through this. We haven't been ambushed in a while. Now... Speaking of changes, <clears throat> great segue. Speaking of changes, there have actually been some pretty significant changes made to the game. There was a patch recently, and while there were a lot of changes, there are two kind of big ones that stand out. First of all, the Man at Arms and Arbalist both got unique trinkets. So we haven't found those yet. I'm hoping that we'll find them soon. As a matter of fact, I'm hoping we'll run into at least one on this mission. And if not, maybe we might be lucky enough to run into uh, run into some in the wagon afterward. Let's see. I think she's our best detrapper, so let's go ahead and try that. Fantastic. And she was the only one really with meaningful stress. So this is going very well. Torch up and let's get into our first battle here. So one of the other changes that was made and I think is worth mentioning is that now AoE attacks no longer crit the entire party. I don't know if that is... Huh. There's no decimals anymore. That's interesting. Yeah. The AoE attacks no longer crit the entire party. I know that they no longer crit your party. I am actually not sure if they crit the opponent or not. Um, so that's something we'll have to keep an eye out for. I'm doing this because I really don't want to deal with a whole bunch of stress that's unfortunate. I really don't want to have to deal with a bunch of stress going into the formless flesh fight so if we can kind of minimize that that would be fantastic. Alright we still have this thing stunned and good lord that is just that's just incredible. I, I really am. Huh. I hope we can save a few of these crits for the Formless Flesh fight. I really am impressed with this party overall. It has been a very good one, even though I know that generally it's preferred to have a Bounty Hunter here in this other slot and an Occultist here for just absolutely mopping the floor with... Yeah, just absolutely mopping the floor with boss fights in particular, but large enemies and really basically anything when it get right, gets right down to it. I I like the Hellion. The Hellion's versatile. 
Bleed is interesting, if not always the best choice. I mean, there are, there are some dungeons, this one for example, where bleed really isn't strictly all that good or useful, but it's, it's hard to deny, oh my god, okay, well, you know what, we need to free up some space anyway. It's hard to deny just the raw power of the Hellion as a standalone class. I, I don't know if she really parties well with other, other classes, at least ones that are not Hellions. I think Hellions work very well together because they can stack, they can stack bleed to absolutely ridiculous levels, and on top of that, they have great damage. They have the ability to roll stun on multiple targets. Overall, I think they're just yeah, a very, very good class, but I'm not sure they really synergize well. Let's see. This is not great. I was not... I did look at our... I did look at our light level, but it didn't really dawn on me that, yes, we're going to run down a little bit of light here. Let's see. Retribution. Yeah, let's... Ah, damn it. Let's try and take out these guys right here, since they do have the ability to stress us out. I'm not too worried about damage. We do have a lot of food, and that is a deliberate decision. I am trying to give us the option to heal in between... I'm trying to give us the option to heal in between combat, if necessary. Oh, stunned. All right. So, let's see. I have been thinking about how we're going to tackle the Formless Flesh, and I think I did mention my plan is at least... Damn. My plan is, at least for the time being, that... That seemed very weak. My plan, at least for the time being, is that I would like to have... Um, I'd like to have a Plague Doctor and a Hellion in the party. Now that is unfortunately going to... let's see... That is going to sort of change how we approach the... how we approach the battle a little bit. I think we're going to have to take the Arbalest off the team, which kinda sucks. I mean, part of the reason that I... that I have been leveling her up is, yes, to get the roster goals completed, but I also would really like to... Oh, we'll just eat up. I would really like to... Uh, how do we do this? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. I, I did want to take her along. I think having a... I think having a character that is able to mark and is able to do a bunch of extra bonus damage on a marked target is awesome. Unfortunately, we lost a bit of that synergy potential when our when our um, bounty hunter croaked in our first encounter with the champion uh, with the champion level uh, formless flesh which is unfortunate, but on the bright side, that's so good that you can use multiple consumables. But on the bright side, it makes me feel a little bit less bad about keeping or leaving the Arbalest out. For the most part, I think we are going to be fine just... Just running with a Plague Doctor and a Hellion and trying to keep as much of the enemy stunned as we can. I hope it works out. I feel like there's at least the potential there for this to backfire horribly. Let's say we don't get any stun for a couple... That's a bit unfortunate. Yeah, let's say we don't get any stun for a couple of rounds in a row. I mean, we severely hamper our offensive capability. Let's try a stun. 
We severely hamper our offensive capability just by bringing a Plague Doctor along. So, yeah, there is, there is that. This is unfortunate, but imagine if that had critted the entire party. That would have been catastrophic, so that's fine. I will live with it. Okay, the Arbalest, I know it says 33% crit chance. It feels like a lot more. Obviously, that's purely anecdotal evidence with a small sample size, but come on. That is, that's too good. Anyway, the implications for the yeah the implications for the fight coming up with the formless flesh are enormous. I mean, there is a very good chance that we fail again. I feel like I feel like the champion formless flesh is without question the most difficult opponent that we've ever encountered, and I mean. You saw, it It didn't really come down to a situation of, oh, well, we just, we didn't approach that fight correctly. I mean, okay, alright, I'll, I'll, I'll take some ownership here. My own stupidity and failure to be observant did create a situation where, yes, alright, we did fight that that battle a hair earlier than I really intended to. I was not paying attention to our surroundings and it did end up kind of coming back to bite me because yes I, I did not have a chance to heal up all the way before the fight started. That said, man, we got completely overpowered in the in the second round maybe even earlier than that my memory doesn't doesn't serve I, I, okay I'm trying not to remember that fight because it was bad it was it was crushing so yeah we'll we'll have to we'll have to have a little bit of luck on our side I am going to try and I am going to try and stack the odds in our favor with trinket selection to make sure that when we fight the formless flesh we do have the highest chance possible of getting those stuns and being able to actually you know do something with them but in the end I I do not think that there's any combination of trinkets that I currently possess that will put us in a situation where we can like, guarantee a kill, uh, or sorry, guarantee a stun, because I think every part of the formless flesh of any sort of consequence has a stun resist of 95, so I think, yeah, I think we will have to... I think we will have to roll the dice every sing on every single stun attempt. So that has me nervous, obviously, but you know what can you do? Like I said, we'll we'll try and uh, arrange the trinkets in such a way that it shouldn't be too much of a risk, but it is still it's still a risk. So what about this particular run? Well, it's going very well. Stress is barely a factor, basically not a factor. And it I I had originally chosen this particular dungeon to attempt because I thought that it would be the fastest. Clearly that was misguided because all of these huh all of these uh, holy relics seem to be stacked up here in the latter part of the dungeon. It's a bit unfortunate. Hopefully we can get a little bit of scouting up here. No, guess not. It's fine. It's fine. I'll bet you anything we're going to encounter one of these relics. Yep, right here. And then I bet you the next one is in the subsequent lock display cabinet. Really, that's that's actually not our... 
It's actually not our holy relic. Weird. Okay, but I bet you there's one in here. I, I would be shocked. I would be sincerely shocked. Okay, yeah. There's one, and we got some scouting. So, da 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 da. Yep. We got some scouting. Let's see. There could be one here. And let's just quickly check. Okay. It's not one here, so let's go ahead and just double back. It's going to take a little bit of time. But I'm I'm actually shocked that we didn't find it. So we're going to take some stress doubling back, but I'm fine with that. I don't want to spend too much time backtracking, like going all the way through. You idiot. Going all the way through, and then... That's fine. Going all the way through and then backtracking all the way, because torches are now starting to become a bit of an issue. I'm not terribly concerned. Gosh, this looks so weird now that there are no decimal points. Why don't we try suppressing fire? See if we can get the debuff. Okay. And... You. Damn it. I, I had high hopes. Damn. I was really hoping that that debuff would actually make these guys miss, but sadly no. Alright, Retribution on you. Now hopefully we can get a repost here and yep great kill no then breakthrough ah so yeah we don't get the crits on all the enemies that's a little unfortunate that is I, i'm a tiny bit disappointed by that but i mean i i get it i understand why they don't want to do that because something like yeah something like a full crit from something like Grape Shot Blast or, yeah, Breakthrough. It's devastating. It's truly, truly devastating, and it, it seems like it was not, uh, it was, yeah, not an intended style of gameplay for Grape Shot Blast to just monopolize all the damage. Well, fuck. <laughs> I think we have enough torches to make it all the way through. It'll be a little close, but I think we've got it. Well, we were down. I just pray we don't get a hunger event, because we do avail ourselves to a few of those, considering how much backtracking we are going to have to do. That torch was well-timed, however, and... Alright, there's one... And there was no combat for it either, so that's great. Let's see. Yeah, we'll just ditch that. And yeah, it must be it must be here or here. I mean, to state the obvious. And this has been, for the most part, a fairly innocuous run. If this is the if this is the the final treasure, then okay. I was going to say I would not proceed any further, just because we would have our roster goals completed at that point but well come on okay but since we must we shall and we can go ahead and eat up and through the door we go okay this is it we do have some combat but yeah it should be fairly straightforward if anybody had to get hit with the quarrel I'm frankly glad that it's her and no stuns means that this should be, yeah, this should be pretty, pretty simple. Great. Let's see, suppressing fire. Or sniper shot. Let's try sniper shot. Okay. Awesome. <laughs> that was really good. And now, yeah, we don't have to worry too much about carrying stress into the next, into the next dungeon run which is fantastic. Let's do Retribution on you. And hopefully we can... Actually, why don't we break through here? Perfect. Okay. This is... This is one. So now it's just a question of will 
it be fortunate enough to get a crit on us. Hopefully not, that's why we're stunning. Yeah, there's no reason to heal. Actually, one of the other changes that was made is that crit healing... Crit healing now does impart some stress relief, which is great. I'm, I'm really glad that change was made. It just really makes sense. Especially, I mean, since since it was added as, by, you know, it was called a crit heal, and since that is the effect of crits in this game, and building for crit is sort of the express, one of the express purposes of building for crit is to get the, oh, that's nice, is to get the stress relief, so it's, it's nice. And apparently single target healing has a higher crit chance. There we go. Has a higher crit chance than AoE. Um, I'll cease my rambling about mechanics now, but all of our roster goals are completed. Wonderful. And now we head onward into the Formless Flesh fight. So with that said, thank you very much for watching, and tune in next time. It's going to be a slobber knocker. All right. I'm sorry for saying slobber knocker. Thanks for watching.